I'm using a translucent loose powder, which doesn't have any color, so it's not going to change any of this. I'm going to use this Hourglass Veil loose powder. I sometimes like to use the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom loose powder as well. It has a little bit of pink in it, as you see, but it's pretty much translucent. It doesn't have much color. It just kind of brightened your skin tone. Since this is beginner friendly, I'm going to use this translucent powder. Some people like to use a puff, some people like to use a brush. Uh, you can use both. I personally like to use a brush. I think that gives me more like airbrush feeling. Dip it in and just tap off the excess because I don't want my face to look like a cake. Just on the area where I get oily. Like right here, I get so oily. I don't know why. Just this area. And like here. Maybe like under the eyes. The triangle area, you know. So you can just use powder wherever you get oily. I used to use this powder like all over my face, but I don't do that anymore. I don't think that's necessary. But if you have oily skin, you might need to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Eyebrows. Eyebrows, you can do it with an eyebrow pencil or even an eyeshadow. I use an eyeshadow because I have this kind of reddish color hair and I like to match my eyebrow color to my hair color. I'm sorry, I'm just so distracted by this mosquito. This one mosquito is just driving me crazy right now. So I use an eyeshadow. Um, I couldn't find a eyebrow pencil that could match with my hair color. At least in Korea, I couldn't find it. As you see, I don't have much hair. I just don't have much hair in general, even on my body. So what's beneficial for me to use an eyebrow pencil? I could just kind of like draw this like fake hair a little bit, at least like at the front. Or the those like pen, you know, those fine pen, but like beginner friendly. Hmm. I wouldn't worry about that so much. Just find a color that fits your hair color. I think that's important. That's the most ideal um, complementary look. Do I use eyebrow gel? Not really. Not on a daily basis, but when I go like full makeup, I sometimes use a hair gel on a spoolie and then I just go boop boop. And make my eyebrows look very angry and just like awake but other than that i don't really use anything much i don't use like a whole bunch of products on my eyebrows i don't know how people do it like it's just so tiring currently for my eyebrows i'm using this eyeshadow palette from anastasia beverly hills but it doesn't have to be this one any eyeshadow that you could find that can match with your hair color use it i'm using this one and this one. So you use a little bit of that lighter color, the front, a darker color at the end. And I'm so sorry for all these noises. This neighborhood is having a party. And right here, mosquitoes are having a party. Why is it so fat? Did it bite me already? I'm gonna fucking kill it. I got it. Second mosquito during this recording session. Came back with a beer. Cheers. Fuck them mosquitoes. I kill all of them. Hopefully I kill all of them. I'm gonna have an angle brush if you use an eyeshadow. Angle brush is a great tool for eyebrows. Also eyeline you can use. I feel like for color makeup, like having good brushes are just 
I would say 50%, more than 50. Like some brushes are just so bad. It doesn't matter what kind of makeup product you use. They just cannot, they just cannot do it. They just cannot bring that, like what a product is supposed to do. If you want to really get into like makeup, really like step up your game a little bit. I really recommend you buy a set of great makeup brushes. When it comes to the shape of your eyebrows, just try different shapes. I tried so many. I've tried Arch, I tried the straight one, straight this way, straight this way. I tried short, I tried I tried thick, I tried thin. I don't know, some people say like, oh, if you have this type of like facial shape, you should just stick with this one shape of eyebrows. I I don't like that. I don't want to give that advice to you and then I just don't want you to stick with one shape of eyebrows forever for the rest of your life. So just try different look. and find whatever you like and sometimes you know you could change it too like sometimes i like this art and then sometimes i'm like nah tired of it i'll change it to like just make sure the color is matching your hair i think that's the safest approach and then with the shape you can just kind of like play around Today I made them pretty thin and arched. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my eyes pretty simple today just because I wanna focus on the the whole overall makeup. So for a beginner, liquid eyeliner, I don't recommend it. I still struggle with liquid eyeliner. Um I'll say use eyeshadow or pencil eyeliner a lot safer that for beginners what i like to do i like to just apply doesn't even have to be precise so just at the end of it like so and just smudge it with a brush you want to make a little bit of wing you can do that as well or like just on the outer corner this is like the easiest way to just give a little bit of something to your eye and i'm gonna do this side as well like so and if you think the black is too intense, you can go with gray, you can go with brown. You can just choose whatever color you're comfortable with. And then just put on your favorite mascara. Right now for me, that's a mascara from a Korean brand called Neat. It's just the best. It really hits the curls for the whole day. At the same time, it doesn't come, it doesn't make me look like a panda. Like overall, volumizing, making my lashes look longer, keep the curls, don't smudge. And guess what? This made by the same manufacturer that I was talking about, the Colmar, that manufactured this one. Same manufacturer, never disappoint. I mean, it happens a lot. If you pay attention to like who manufactured what kind of good products, mostly the manufacturer that you already know to make good products this is black they have brown one too i enjoy using brown mascara these days for my daily use so since i use black eyeliner i'm gonna use this one and make sure you curl your eyelashes before you apply mascara unless you have like i don't know some some people just have those lashes like they're always curled up it's just lifted it's just ready to go meet god so unless you're one of them 
for your lashes. This is from Wizard Man. I'm gonna get it from Korea, so I got it from Amazon. Amazon, yeah, Amazon. Yeah, pretty good. Not expensive. Sometimes I use those like one of those like heating curlers, but they're scary. Is it hot? I can feel the heat. It's pretty thin. The one is pretty thin, but still. Make sure you're applying from the very root. And also, make sure you're applying from the top as well. Now, if you want to make them look thicker, you can apply more coats, like one or two more coats. But for a daily look, I think this is just good enough. For the lower lashes, that's optional. Um, I just want to tell you, if you apply mascara on, on your lower lashes, your eyes are going to look more open, but not like snatched. So if you're looking for some snatched, kind of sexy, but clean under eye, that kind of look, just avoid applying mascara. Don't even bother um, applying mascara on the lower lashes. But if you want to make it more like dolly, round, just like them, that kind of effect, you could apply. Should I apply? Mm, maybe a little bit. Let's see. I apply the mascara and kind of like show those lashes at the bottom. And my eyes look a little more like dragged down. Than this one so look rounder but less snatched so it depends it depends on what you're trying to achieve now i'm going to show you all the powder products of what we have done already really quickly i don't want to make this redundant bronzer contour highlighter and blush bronzer for contouring same principle Go for something cool tone that has cool tone in it. I'm going to show you the one that I use for bronzing, which should have the warm. Can you see the difference? This is what I use for bronzing, which is warm, it's like reddish. This is what I use for contouring, which is like grayish brown. So same principle, same placement. Just use different application tool, more like a powder brush. That's not super dense. I use this for contouring. Same principle, like I said, same placement. Ooh, that's too much. Just make sure you don't get too much product on your brush at once. Just little by little, just build it. Ooh, a little bit. And bronzer, as the other bronzer, same thing. Apply where you get tanned by the sun. So you can use either or, just cream or powder. You could use cream bronzer, the powder blush. You don't have to just use all one form of thing. Form powder, cream, yeah, form for the longevity. Uh, like if you're having a wedding day or a concert or something, then I recommend you use both. It's going to make your makeup last a lot longer than use just one thing. So I use just a little bit. Didn't use a whole lot. Just wanted to show you how you use them and blush for everyday use. I would recommend the color, not too pink, not too peach, but like peachy pink. I think this color from Nars Sex Appeal is just the best. 
the orgasm is also great but this one is just so subtle and it's just so natural i love this one for a daily use and i think this is really like beginner friendly um this is going to just complement your skin whatever your skin tone is it's just really soft pretty color And it's fun to like combine different colors of cream blush and powder blush you can create some unique blush color on your own um, that's another like fun part about this they're hammering the wall right now what a great timing i just got this stella heaven's do all over glimmer highlighter in silver lake so i've heard that this is just exactly the same as the rihanna's diamond uh, glitter powder or something the highlighter that's famous i don't know if it, they are manufactured by the same people but i heard it's just identical but this one's cheaper so you know if you want to save that money and it's just gorgeous we already know it doesn't have any like base color it's just that white purr. I love this white highlighters. I love them. I don't know what it is. And I don't even have like cool tone skin either. But I just, I don't find them like disconnected from my skin. It's like a natural light just reflecting from my skin. apply it on your forehead as well i don't really do it but i'll just do it this time mm. yeah this is definitely my favorite yeah finally for lips for lips you can literally do whatever you feel comfortable with like lip gloss lipstick uh, liquid lipstick lip oil lip balm i mean the options are always endless me personally i don't like using lip gloss because when i eat something when i drink something and i tend to drink a lot and the lip gloss always comes off i mean lipstick and other stuff comes off as well but like lip gloss definitely i feel like i'm eating it too much um it's just don't stay on it will be gone like within 10 minutes because i'd be drinking something within 10 minutes so i don't really like to spend money on lip gloss but if you're looking for the like kind of juicy look lip gloss it's just the best or lip oil since this is for beginners um let's just go for the natural look for the natural look i recommend you use a lip color that's close to your actual lip colors similar to your actual lip colors but it would enhance that a little bit i personally like to use a lip pencil by itself sometimes because it's cheaper than other lip products and has a lot of range of colors and it tends to last longer so for the natural look my go-to is stripped down from mac it's kind of like peachy nude color let's see like that a little bit peachier than my actual lip actually but still or this nyx in natural yeah this is more like my lip color actually if you're into makeup you already know charlotte tilbury has like signature lip pencil or lipstick color iconic nude very close to my lip color but just a little darker so this is more peachy this is a little more pinky i'm gonna use this stripped down from mac because i use this with this dior lip balm this is dior attic lip glow number one this combo i've been doing that for the past few weeks just non-stop 
So I line my lids from the center. Tend to just kind of overline just at the center. Like that. And my lower lips too. So I'm like below my actual lip line. And at this at the end, like I, I find the actual lip line. Mm, that was kind of like smush it. Mm. Sometimes I just feel in my lips with this the pencil, just like, eh, like that. I do that too. But then lip pencil by itself can be pretty drying. So I like to use a lip balm or a lip oil or a lip gloss on the top. So this is the lips. Kind of brownish, pinkish. So this is it. I'm just going to use a setting spray to set this makeup. I think setting spray is just as important as a primer. It really makes a difference. And if you have oily skin, I think this is like the must. I recommend though you use a setting spray that doesn't have alcohol in it. There are a lot of setting sprays out there that have alcohol in it, which will help with the longevity. But it's at the end of the day, it's alcohol is not going to be good for your skin. It's going to dry out your skin. I recommend you check the ingredients of a product and get the one that doesn't have alcohol in it. I like to spray this Dalba White Truffle First Spray Serum. Just wanna hydrate and moisturize my skin for the last time <laughs> before I walk out the door. So I like to use this. And then I also use this Urban Decay All Nighter. Some setting spray, like the the spray part, it's just I doesn't spray the, the liquid like evenly and like a mixed some of them just like come out just like somebody spitting on your face it's like just just some chunks and then it leaves like a big stain on your face i don't think i love this though this kind of does that like the spray it's just not the best the way the product comes out is just not I don't feel good. I feel bullied. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching until the end of this whole step. Now you learn all of the basics. From here on, you can just add a little bit more techniques, just little by little, one by one. Just make the line a little longer, make a little wing, or just try different highlighters, different color, eye line, different lips, lip color. I mean, once you master the basic, the world is your oyster. You can do so much and you can do makeup like a pro. Watch my other simple makeup looks you could do. I'm sure you could do it and you will look beautiful. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you like this. If you have any questions, feel free. Don't be hesitant to leave comments. But yeah. I'll see you next time.